want you to just let us do the questions sure. first, and then we'll get you to speak. Okay. If that's okay. So anyway, uh, the long and short of the answer is, is that yes, we do have some members that uh, I think you had mentioned the high school, Louisville High School. There are some rodeo team members for Louisville High School that do ride at our saddle club events. But they're not a member of the saddle club. Well, you don't have to be a member to right, compete. Right, right. You'll let anybody ride right. a right. 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 New York. <clears throat> right. Last, the history of the rodeo grounds and the, the club uh, dating many years ago obviously had a different purpose than what it's kind of evolved into. At the time, it was more of a location for Louisville people to conduct a rodeo. It is no longer that. That's why I brought up the point that really what you're doing isn't providing a place for any Louisville people people are participants in the Rotary Club, although they're more than welcome to participate, I'm sure the club would readily admit that. It's really more to provide events for us, so much the way you contract with uh, Jerry to do Western. That he didn't live in Louisville, he put on Western for us. They put on the event. Excuse me, I'd like to uh, shift the focus a little bit, and I'd like to know a little bit more about the financing as far as where this money would come from as a proportional rate for whatever the saddle club would be doing to uh, pay for part of this or is this all of the cities off the I don't think that the saddle club's uh, in a position to make much of an investment in the facility. I think again, you have to look at it from the standpoint of this being your facility you would control, you would contract out to whoever wanted to use it for whatever purposes you wanted to have them conduct at that facility. So therefore, the cost would be borne by the city. Sources would range from the general fund. We haven't really looked at the hotel motel. There might be some possibilities there. We haven't really examined it. My, my uh, likely recommendation would be just the general fund. Doesn't the Saddle Club currently Received approximately seven thousand dollars a year out of, out of the hotel fund, and they use that to put on the event and to maintain it. That would be part, presumably, of any kind of contract that you would have, so they would continue to provide maintenance services for you. Is there any uh, tangible income to the city at all with you know with these events that you can even semi fuzzy put a picture or finger on anything? Because, I mean, I've been, I love the rodeo. I go to it, I like it, enjoy it quite a bit. However, I know that a lot of people come from all over, come to the rodeo to watch their kids or family ride, and then they go back out to wherever city they come from. I'm not aware of anything. I'm not aware of anything other than when those families come to town, hopefully they support the We don't get a percentage of the gain. Well, we don't get a percentage of the gain. And certainly, if we were to use it in other ways, I mean, we did have uh, a question at one time about a Juneteenth rodeo uh, several years ago. So, the facility were approved. Perhaps we might win another event where we might be able to negotiate some type of percentage. Well, you know, let me just think out loud here because I'm trying to do that to spur some things up. I have some problems spending all this money. Or to keep up a, a I like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like the rodeo. I like it. It's been great. But I'm looking at if we're going to spend this money, we're not really doing it to, you know, for the citizens per se. And it is three hundred thousand dollars basically, include the seventy-one thousand, uh, all that stuff. And I'm sure there'll be a little overrun cost for whatever. Plus, oh, I didn't write hope not. <coughs> But I'm hearing a lot of, well, we could, we could, we could use it. And um, I don't see those coulds ever coming to anything. I do like the idea, though, of having the uh, portable bleachers that we can move from one location. But I'm going like, would we ever, do we really need them? I mean, we'd use them if we had them, but do, is there an actual need for them in any other location in Louisville right now? I would say at Railroad Park, certainly, there might be an opportunity to use them. We've had some fairly large like in the skate uh, park, Bob, when we've had those large events, we're not set up for full features for the evening of those type of events. Uh, and it may op uh, open more opportunities for us to recruit different types of, of tournaments to Railroad Park would be where I would see mainly use them. But perhaps
labs at Western Days too. I mean, the cooking demos, in fact, I think could grow. They were very popular, and we might be able to use them at, at that event. It was very popular. I'm just saying if we can use it now, what's the uh, continuing cost of labor picking these up and moving them and putting, you know, the, that's more of a steep question. Can, can we move those bleachers within uh, house staff or we have to use that? Oh, the portable bleachers? Yeah, I mean, if we move them from Redwood Park to the rodeo grounds or whatever, we're trying to find a way to keep the radio going without saying we're just throwing money out. So, how can we use this in other areas? If we're going to invest in bleachers. We need to use them, not, you know, instead of just 10 weeks out of the year, what about the other 42 weeks or whatever we're going to use? To answer your first question, yes, we can We can move the portable bleachers, the five level units, the low profile, in-house without hiring, in -house without hiring anyone. We put those on the trailer and we can move those. Uh, as far as the events go, I think where Donna was alluding to is that if we grow the use of this particular site, have some events there. There are other events. We have talked to Mr. Cleaver and Mr. Johnson uh, in the draft of the lease that when we have an event there, they own the concession stand, they own the grills and the cookers and the warmers and all that stuff. That be something like we do at Toyota Railroad Park, where if those people running the concession stands, we get uh, proceeds off of that when they run the concession stands for our events. If they're running for their particular events, they keep 100% of the concession. That's the same way with soccer and the rest of the football. <coughs> so, but the other events, again, we had several requests for a dog show or something last year. They had hosted, hosted a dog show at that particular site. And so it was fairly well attended. I don't remember how many people we had, but it was for a first time event, it was there. So the answer is really that you don't have anything that you can put your finger on today as far as a future event, but it gives you the capability of doing it for a future event where these other options really can. So I'm, I'm, you know, if I want to create a, something that in order to use it, we have to spend even more money on either. You know, looking at that, I do have a problem with the money coming out of the general fund, and I'd rather see it come out of the hotel, motel, you know, just to say that. We're trying to get people ahead in events type stuff, but events, you know, events and stuff. But I, I still would like to see some way, either surveys or something on something we get some data in that kind of tells us that these 500 people or a thousand people that come to these events are actually stopping by Burger King or something in Louisville. Or I know there's not much down here except for the Sonic over here. I just like to see something to say, hey, this is how we're going to, this is how we're spending our money wisely, and we're not just throwing it at a club where all the members don't even live in this little time. Well, I've got a question for you. I don't want you to think about it necessarily in that way. I don't know. I know you, you can think contract. about it any way you want. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say it's a contract, really but the idea of having a presentation. Yeah. 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 I, I had a question for you. Um, what would we pay for the skate park and the dog park? Entire park. Oh, just just those pieces. Let me break that out. Half a million dollars. Uh, it's more than half a million. Oh, million. Okay, that's enough. Never mind. Uh, were all the dogs from Louisville? <laughs> no, sir. So are all the skateboarders from Louisville? Uh, definitely. Okay. Are they eating here? here? They do eat here, and I assume they probably get in trouble and get thrown in jail. <laughs> 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 If I can, I'm, I'm for all this. Uh, the maximum bill to spend all the money we can. We've got to find the money. Uh, we're going to have to do something about parking. That's been a problem for 50 years down there. There never has been enough parking. Uh, even when it was a baseball field down there. The, uh, and we might have to look at some off-site uh, north of there. You do have some city facilities up there that could lend us up to parking. Uh, we're going to have to look at something on expansion of the livestock area. Uh, don't know if it's large enough right now, but we probably need to look at that. Uh, just the area there. Uh, we've got to put on more events, and uh, I'd like to see this tied in with an equestrian trail. I got it in plug. 
<laughs> uh, equestrian trail that's going to be hooked up to the Trinity Trail, which is generally at the railroad track, which is on the north side of this. So, that's all right. Look, I got a couple of things. Uh, if you go back to your, I guess your slide that shows the, it shows the, the layout of the ground and has your different boxes up there. If I'm not mistaken, what you said, the that part doesn't really show it. Uh, that doesn't really show that you can't really make out the arena there. No, no, no. If, if I understand what you're saying, that the rodeo or the saddle club, I'm sorry, saddle club maintains is basically what's inside the arena. Is that correct? The saddle club maintains that fence line there, that fence line back to the creek. Out that area. Is that right, Mike? Yes, okay. okay. So, excluding what they maintain now, what would be our ballpark cost for what we're experiencing that? Just give me a guess of what it's costing us to maintain the rest of it. Little mowing. Year round. Year round. We, we have one crew that spends three hours a week there. Ballpark would be a cost. Uh, you don't have to be accurate. I'm not I'm just trying to get some it, It's probably probably a thousand a week. Okay, a thousand a week. No, uh, I'm sorry. No. I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it for a thousand a week. Three hundred a week. Yeah. Three hundred a week. Three hundred. Okay. Three hundred times fifty. Every week of the year. Average. Well. It's dormant every time of the year we don't do it, but rainy season we might have to hit a little bit more often than that, but you might average in uh, three times a month. Okay, so let's say somewhere around $15,000 to upkeep of, that, of what we upkeep all year round. What if we looked at, or let me ask you this, well, I want to know that, and then the bleacher cost, if I'm, if I'm on page 20, you go to page 20, if I'm understanding this right, uh, there where it says the 220, or, or if I understand this right, where it says the 88,000 plus 71,000 plus 159 out to 3, is that the portable bleachers option that did the 500 and something seat? The 88,000, which one? Option 3. Is that the summary? Is that the option where it shows summary for portable bleachers and you've got where you'll see 430 to 540? Is that what that option is? Uh, the other page is page three. Well, where is that option for page three? See? Which one of those are the options for page three? C? I think that is. It's 100, it's on page uh, five of this summary. But where is it on these? It's options? not on this. This was given as a supplement just a few months ago. Okay, so if we did, if we did that, see, what would uh, the what would the difference cost? Let me see. For what you got up there? If you go to portable seating, for 540 seats, on right. portable seating, right. five five seats high, right, 10 by 21, 142,000. Okay. What's the cost of seating you got those up there? The cost of seating of twenty one sixty, just the seating alone. You see what I'm saying? No, wait a minute. Right. 142 goes to 292. If 540 seating. Would the be lowest high. the lowest seating that I have on there at eighty eight thousand one hundred and fifty nine right. is nine hundred. That's so that's 900 seats right that's there? 900 seats at 159,000. And how many, so that's? Compared to 142,000 for 540. But what I heard you, what I thought I heard you say, well, I know you can't get that many portable seating, portable seating bleachers in there, correct? I can get 10 sections of bleachers, 
the same space. In the same space. It doesn't, same seat as, doesn't seat as many because it's only five high. high. I understand that. Which begs a question that you probably ought to ask the rodeo folks at some point, which is, could he even operate in a big capacity? Well, I, I got a question for that, man, but I don't understand. But if you had additional seating, I mean, if you had additional bleachers, let's say you had 20 bleachers, would you have room to put them somewhere around the arena? Not in a sight visibility the way they're set up for that period of the Or back. Yeah, that's what I was asking. If you look, the, on, the location there uh, of the viewing areas to the left, <coughs> to, to this area here, yes. uh, I don't believe you can get, you might get one set of bleachers there in this area. A lot of their operation areas, and my don't step in here anywhere. But there's, they've got their work area here, and also you've got the horses where they run through the chutes and right. stuff. So a lot of this is trailer parking, cars parking, okay. getting everybody ready to go, line up, those kind of things. In the back, this is the press box. This is the uh, corral area. 